Alright, that's a way to start a morning through my mind, going for each of us. You can What is up? Good morning, my adventure. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. I guess you can see from our before intro to my my action through my my it's not too bad. Definitely a best way to start the morning. We're getting lure set now, get them in the water. We put a nine inch ice boot, we just rescreened this guy to put it out on the long rigger. Had you put a seven inch on that side and a backlash to the reel. That's always fun. <laughs> but you know the rules with any good fishing trip. If you gotta get something, you have to get something. I'll tell you what, that sea guy, he loves his 7 Eleven spam musubi. Gotta love it. Sorry, the bird was trying to eat our lure. Like, what is he trying to do? All right, let's get this in the water. Here we go, boys and girls, for the dream. All right, this was all about. You want to get stressed? Sometimes you have to change lures. It's 701. On our first bird pop today, it's in the distance. No guarantees it'll be biting, but we changed our foreign sellers to small lures. And, uh, so we get lucky, boys. That's for the dream. Here we go. Oh, Sometimes when you get multiple strikes at one time, they like to swim towards each other and tangle. I don't know if it's on purpose or just accidental, but multiple strikes lead to tangles, and that's what happened here. Go four bang on that task, got three. All right, here we go, task number two. Get it. Yeah, we're up now. Rick is on, Rick is on, please. Rick is on. Andrew's on his ear. Come on, Mark. Thank you. 
Would you put a smaller or a big lure? Seven. You put it back out, yeah. Go back. Good job. I will tell you my eyes. 7.49 in the morning. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, we go, boys. It was for the dream. All right, we had two passes of power. We have five otaros, so probably a little over 100 pounds. Kind of broke up, though. They're scattered. They're scattered. They're not really working. That just flying, so let's head out and look for something else. We're going to find something. Here we go. All right, we literally just found another. Oh, right there, right there, right there. What's that? That's something big right there. Good size. It was a big otaro. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Red right the white birds. What is that? I don't know, why do you see these? You don't see the bottles roll like that. Uh, yeah. That's a bottle. Right, here we go. Found another pile. We need to come and find another pile. Let's go and see what happens. Super Pile Saturdays. There's your evil, Henry. Super Pile. Super Pile Saturdays. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right there, right here, right here. <laughs> oh, we are. Doubles. Watch out, watch out. Come in behind us, watch your fingers. Alright, two, three banger, maybe four. Got two more. Not bad. Totally different pile, too. Totally different pile. We're sitting on 7 Otaro and 3 Mai Mai right now. Not too bad. 8 15 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Good, nice one, nice job. Yeah. Good job, job. Since we had a little break in the action, it was time to take some of the fish out of the Ikima or light bait well, what some of you guys might refer to it as. We like to leave them in there for at least 30 to 40 minutes to help really get the blood out and to help the fish cool down. If we put it in ice right away, it'll shock the fish. And to me, it doesn't make the best quality fish. And getting the blood out is probably the most important thing. But there's one other important thing to realize when doing this. The fish and the bite wait for no one. So always be ready. So this is what they're eating. I don't know, it's a silver fish, but it's weird. The fins are very stiff and very pokey on top. And it's fresh, you look at it, they just ate it. So you know it's supposed to be stiff like this. It almost looks like a rooster fish from Florida the way it's shaped. Honestly, it's probably some type of reef fish, like a smaller reef fish. And that's why the reef, that's why the reefs are so important because of stuff like this. I mean, it's probably a reef fish. So, all the stuff that happens on the inside of the reefs gets blown out here to the ocean. All the big reef fish, the big predators eat them, they go back in later on and they become big fish. So it's important to take care of your reefs. 
Don't be like Mark so much. He's gonna take care of his reefs. Here, eat this. Your fault. This is your fault, Mark. <laughs> just eat it. Do for YouTube. You eat it. Come on, Mark. Just eat it. Oh. Just take it. Just, I don't want that shit spiking me. And just stuff. put it in your mouth and chew it up, and then just spit it out. Just chew it up. Come on, Mark. You eat too shit. Oh, you're nasty. You're, I was in his ass. I was in his ass. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe you did that! <laughs> oh my god! Just for you, you better give me a thumbs up! I wasn't even seriously did that! Oh my coconut, go back! That's for Damien! Henry, yep. I told him, eat it! Just chew it up and spit out! He's god. like, okay! The little baby fish on the deck! Oh he my chewed it up and I was like, I didn't know you were just gonna redo it! <laughs> He's a spitter, he's a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Be back on the birds. We're looking for another bird body. Kind of split up a little bit. It's nine o'clock. We got nine Otaru, three Mai Mai. Tell you what, things are looking up, boys and girls. Post new videos every week. And for the leader line I use, I always say this Jinkai is by far one of the best leader lines. The hooks I use, crimps, crippers, everything I use, I get at highfishgear.com. Local store in Hawaii. They're bringing lots of local stuff unique to Hawaii, which is pretty epic. So if you live in the mainland, there'll be some things there you can get that you probably can only find in Hawaii. So check them out, highfishkey.com. Raw five at checkout, 5% off that uh, support local as always. Here we go for the dream. Let's get back on it, boys and girls. Mark, you still hungry or are you good? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, on. Oh. You Crap, that thing is nasty big. Rock. Oh. And I think a screaming light. Wow, that's a big otaru right there. Oh, that's a dozer. That's a straight dozer right there. That's oh, that's I'm awesome. Talking. That thing took a lot of light too. We're like, Terry, what's that? She did otaru. Oh, right here behind the boat. The oh, the rigger. The rigger has something big on. Come on, one more. Oh, I think they're gonna came off, maybe. That's a what? Seven banger? Yeah? yeah. That's a seven hitter. Wait, I'll come help you guys. Hold on, let me get gloves on. Even though we have seven fish on, we always make it a priority to take care of the fish we already have on the boat by batting them and bleeding them properly. If you want your fish to be quality, always take care of your fish. Hey, look, those kids are real. Yeah, they don't have to do nothing. Gotta love it. Hell yes! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was a super good pass. We did seven, we got six out of seven. We lost one on the run. Sit back up, fish is bleeding out right now. Back in the pile. Let's see if we can get another bite. 16 out of right now. Four on, 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 Yeah. He's more like a real super smooth. I love it. The good thing about him is your, your drag is your speed lever. So if you got to pause the other fish on, you put down low and try to keep dogging you out. Yeah, Mark, you have to help you? There. What do I got? Okay, just, got it. Are you marker, you need help. There you go. Good job, Mark. On the combo boat, baby. There you go. Nothing on the handlines on that one out. Huh? Nothing on the handlines on that one out. Huh? Okay, I'm off back. Keep going. The thing, the thing got tangled up. Oh, that's not good, yeah. There you go. Anything's in the pipe. Excellent. Anything's in the boat. Oh, yep. Yeah. How many are we on that pass? Six. Did we? Seven. Yeah, we landed six. I got two. Oh, yeah, we did. That's six. Pretty good. Massacre over here, boy. 24. We're heading back to the pond now. We're about like a quarter mile from the pond. I can see them. But they're taking a the fish out of the Ikima because the two passes we had were kind of back to back. And we had 12 pieces total in those two passes. So the Ikima is filling up. So gotta get them on ice. Always take care of your fish, bring lots of ice. Got about 650 pounds of ice today. So should be able to ice everything pretty good. Happens. Keep packing them. Pack them outside the box for now. And uh, <laughs> then we'll pack the other side afterwards. <laughs> Got to put the fish away. Let her stay up a little bit. Like I said, you find yourself a winning team, you'll be successful. We're definitely capitalizing today. We're getting bit. We're not really losing too much. This morning we're losing a lot. This morning we're taking like four bangers, losing like one or whatever. I thought I would take a single and lose one, but this one's mighty good. So we'll see. I'll be able to capitalize on them. Running all six inch bullets and five inch STDs and two seven inch jets on the long rears. And those are getting whacked too. Let's see if this pound's tiny. Oh, my God. 
Two on. Oh, out of hand, Bobby. Three on. Four on. Four on. That's right by your feet. Oh! Hello. The other one's on? Yeah, I still got the other one. Mark, jump on the long rear after. I'll put the short corner on the port side. And then uh, the long rear got one on. This one got one on. This side has to be the long rear, I don't know. Hold on. Nice one, just like that, Mark. On the comic book again, baby. Good going. Oh. So we, I literally just turned off the camera, gave it gas. The guy Powell's, you just dream of. I literally just literally just gave it gas. Came upstairs. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 That crank way better than these guys. Crank way better than me too. Hey, but you don't wash boat. Oh, there's no wash the boat mode yet. Like I said, what we do, keep the drag low, just to dog them in, give them time. Whatever you want fly, I push the drag up, it's coming right in. So don't think people say, oh, the reels are weak. They're not weak, you can do this with eyes too. Sometimes you just handline guys, like, oh, the reels are weak, that's why. It's not that, it's just that we want to dog it in. We want it to come flying in. The first eye we ever caught with electric reel. The eye came in so fast. It was bad news. Bad news. We got the boat in six minutes. We broke the right at the boat. It wasn't fun. That video never got seen a day of light. It was horrible. See this? This was the longest one. I started really late. And look how fast it's coming in. Y'all love electric reels. It's no knock on these guys. These guys are fighting a fish hard, but I tell you what. It's no knock on you guys, but these reels. This one came off and we're switching. Twelve thirty. It's been a little while since we found a foul. The last foul we found was about an hour and a half ago. Hasn't been much going on. We still have the three mai mai and the twenty eight otaru, but. We just found a can of uh, a pie over here. What's going on? Mark's sleepy, Henry's awake. Let's get that uh wakey wakey cam going. Five on, Mark just woke up. Six uh no hand lines though. A five line tangle, holy look at that. Who twisted the shorts? <laughs> Never cross beams. Oh my god, that's a mess. Oh, someone oh. just came off. This one. Keep going. Keep going. Turn your Oh no, Henry's one's really jacked up. Look at yours, Henry. Henry's one's really. I think it was all over the place, huh? Okay. Okay. I think we should be good now. Okay, who's this first? Who's first? Henry's one. Henry's one's right here. Everyone's, everyone's right here. Hold on, Mark. Hold on, Mark. Get Henry's one. I'll unclip once you get it out. Once you get it, I'm going to unclip it up. Go in. You got it? I'm clipping it, okay? Throw them in. Okay. I'll clip it. It's unclipped.
Start turning slowly to the right because the ball is behind us. What's going on? Dude, there's a lot of jai there. Okay. I'll do it for you. You have two lines on here or something? What's going on? You have two lines? Why is there so much drag? Lots of those are huh? Try back up to the pod, it stood up again. About 20 minutes since we had the last, the last four then the single. But they stood back up again, kind of a oh, mile away from where they were. We were fighting them for about half an hour. And they, they finally came back up. So, see what happens. Hopefully, the picture's still with them. Definitely in the bay. Dan, we have time. You take them out. After that last project, we got five more. So, we're going to put away the other five. On. Uh oh. Two on, three on. Put them away. Put them back in the EG minding. That would be all Otaru right there. Took a five banger. I'll take a six banger. One instantly came out, so we had five on. And these two all twisted, so we lost both of them. We got one in the boat. And Henry's on one and I'm on one. I know people will ask about the Gizmos, where to get them. If you want them, let's be an IG and I'll give you guys a contact number for the for the man himself, he doesn't have social media, so if you want to message me on IG and I'll, I'll let you guys uh, get introduced. I'm gonna let you go first, you're below me. Just like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're definitely trying to hit a goal of a thousand pounds today now. We're, we're super close. This size stage, you probably only need 50 won't get a thousand pounds. A lot of them are over 20. So, 2.30 right now. And we have 36 fish. We need 14 more. And we should definitely bring a thousand pounds. So, we'll see if we can do it. We like to go before dark. 14 more though. Let's see if these guys have 14 more for us. On. Oh, the rig just came off. Back rig just came off. Hold on. Back rig is on. Two on. Junkie Junkie, three on. Junkie Junkie the headlines. Junkie Junkie the headlines. Four on. Put your headlines on. So watching this clip, the weatherman told us in the forecast it was going to get a little more choppy in the day. For us, this isn't too bad. I mean, we fish every single weekend, sometimes twice a week. So for us, this isn't too bad. But for some people that don't really fish bumpy water, make sure you watch the weather forecast. You don't want to be 30 miles offshore and the water change on you and you have to go in in this kind of water. It's not going to be fun. And safety wise, I mean, safety should always be our number one priority. So just a word of advice, always watch the forecast and be safe.
Double, double. Oh, not bad. Four banger got three out of the 39 pieces. 30 not Hawaii. In Hawaii, skipjack over 20 pounds, what we refer to as Otaru. If not, they're just off. I think we got maybe one or two that's like borderline 20. The rest are all definitely 22s, 23s. I know there's a couple in there, it's at least like 25, 26. There's a couple of dozers in there. Set back up, try to get in them. Half the bottles over there, half the bottles over here, looking for the fish again. Hopefully it come up soon, get in them. Oh, oh there we go. That's the one I want to see. Inside, come on, baby. Oh, oh that was just fish. Those are sure we just fish. Jerk them, jerk them, jerk them. Where the zone? Lodge? Oh, and I lodge. I want to film this time. <laughs> <laughs> I want to film it, Jeff. <laughs> Woohoo! How is it? Easy? Easy? Quickly. Oh. Oh! You guys are a little, little panty pools. You have the full pools, full man pools. Alright. Get them all fast. Yeah, you guys are good. 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 Higher. Just like that. Oh, that's a nice size one. Oh, bro, look at that mouth. And that's why. We're good. We're good. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. You gotta turn the drag a little bit lower on that hand line. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it looks like some some jerk left you freaking cranking the reel, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Henry saw how much line went out. He's like, you you real. <laughs> I'm spoiled. I like these gizmos. <laughs> yeah, that thing took a lot of line. You wanna? Do you want to gap it? You want me to film it? I'll gap it. Right, that was number 40? Yeah, 40. Is that your mark? Let's see the cat do it again. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that form. Perfect form. Oh! Neatering. Oh, took it out of the water. Oh. Once the head is up, don't let him go back down. Get control. Just like that. Just like that. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh! So we took a bite. Cookie guy, don't go swim over here, boys. <laughs> Just like that? Yeah. Oh, look at that electric purple. Yeah. Okay, let's reset. 41 pieces. It's 3.45. We got 41.6 miles to get home. We had nine more pieces. We should have a thousand. We really want it, but we have a long way to go home. The hand lines didn't go up. No. Wow, driving back in six finger in the blind. We left the burp out right there. I literally assisting in the blind. Oh, 
What? Handline on? Handline's on. Oh, handline's on. Mark, jerk yours, Mark. You might get one more. Huh? Jerk yours. The other one's on. I'm about to slow down, put it down, see. I'll take our time. Bagger in the blind, baby. Yeah. Well, that was in the blind, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, dude. 47? Huh? Yeah. 7-inch combo book. We're getting that blade action today. For big lures. I love it. Hell yeah! Woo! It's 47! That's a good little barrage, huh? <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Whew, we're heading in. I was literally in the blind. I was hoping it was the eye Henry at first. Oh, I might be high. <laughs> How's the eco? Right. Here, we sit back it up and I'll see you guys back here shortly. I didn't have my cameras on. My battery died on my strike camera. So I didn't have it going. And we literally, nothing went on. Just talking story. Heading back to go in, look for something to find something on the inside because we're like, we want to get 50. We already took a seven banger old Otago in the black. We got six. Henry lost one at the boat. Hey, Henry? <laughs> so we got six. We lost one. And I don't know. Don't, don't, the thing with the hand lines is we lose a lot on the hand lines because they rip off because there's no div on them. So uh, it's just part of it. You're lucky, lucky. You get some, you don't get them all, but couple here and there always add up so it's more like a bonus night for us but uh now we got 47 three more three more otaru you guys might do it three more otaru you might bring a thousand pounds in otaru that'd be epic 36 more miles to go pretty awesome Two miles out, see all on the dock ground. Came across on their bird pile. We need three more fish to, to seal the deal. Are we getting into three more, Henry? Let's see. Three more Otaru would seal the deal. Three more would seal the deal, baby. In the water. One on. One on. One on. Right there in the boat. Right there in the boat. One on. One on. Only a single. What the hell? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Mark, what do you think about the forty-nine? We need one more. <laughs> oh. 
One more. One more, baby. Never give up. All the game before dark. We're gonna have to jet to get in before dark. We're like 20. 32, 31? Yeah, like 31, 32 miles. One more, we might be able to make it in before dark. We have to rocket it in. It's kind of, it's blowing right now. We're gonna up see, it's a good five foot seam, so maybe six foot occasionally. Blowing at least 15 to 20. Right. Yep, yep. We just need one more. 526. In two hours, I can cover 30 miles. One more fish, and we can officially be in before dark with a thousand pounds. I would love that. I think we have a thousand pounds total, easy already, but 50 just to make sure. So don't forget about our, our, our dozer my mind, boys. Make sure you my mind there. My my dinners. It's how to shimmy. Poke bowls. Yeah, poke bowls. Time with it. Come on. Come on, Eric. That's the one. Yeah. Number 50. Hey, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club, Henry. <laughs> That's Henry's first thousand pound day, so we have to let him get off the last one. All right, that's definitely over a thousand pounds. I think almost every fish you've got is definitely like 20, 20, 22, I'll say average range. 50 Otaros, three by my, that's tell you what, boys. We didn't run out of time today. Red have ice, red have ice. That's pretty much all the fish that we can carry with the ice we have. I can probably carry another thousand pounds of my fish box, but ice wise, I'm literally on ice. I got enough ice to take care of what I got, and I glad I have ice at home because I need more ice when I get home. But everything's ice good taken care of, that's all I can ask for. I guess we'll see you at the harbor when we offload, and then um, at the auction. We'll definitely go to the auction. Alright, but here we go. Okay, nice. I drive away from the pile, and I guess we have one more on. So I guess this is just a bonus one. One, I would say today the electric reels definitely help. It's like having we have four electric reels, and four electric reels definitely have four other guys on the whole really to fish for you, but they help. So, if you got any four electric reels, message me, email me, and I'll get you in for them. But it's a big help. All right, here we go. Sun is gonna go down soon, at least an hour and a half left. Came a little bit closer. We got like 24 miles to a bathroom break. Thank you. I'm gonna water. Thank you. Oh, this stuff gives you wings. JOB stuff. Let's go. It's gonna suck. I'm gonna get wet now. One hour later. The ocean does not stop giving today. Right here. Come here by us. This side. Huh? This side. Left side. Sports side. You see it? Yeah. You have it. Yeah, score. What a score, Henry. Huh? What a score. Well, that's an expensive way. That's like a hundred dollar buoy. That's a score. If you're watching this, see lost your buoy. I want it, but I'll definitely get it back to you. If that's your buoy, let me know. What a score. Dude, that's like a hundred something dollar buoy. Yeah, honest kind of, if it's yours, then message me, I'll get back to you. Huh? If not, I'll keep it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Score! All right. We offload it, take our pictures, and uh, we're gonna see at the auction. Not too bad, you guys wanna see what we did? I know you guys know we got 51 and three Miami's. Good job, Henry. Check out the 
how big they are. That's a straight dozer, dude. Every one is like that. I mean, like two or three, like 19 pounds. Right? That's his day. Every dog has his day. It's a good day. Good job, Mark. Good job. Now she's at auction. All right, offload your fish. First pallet's going in. Maybe about four pallets. We'll see. Pallet number two went in. Pallet number three went in. Checks the temps. They have to be under 40 degrees to pass the bacteria growth. Oh, it's under 40 degrees. Pad number three, pad number four working on them. Think about the energy truck. Pad number four going in. We got the last one now. Only a couple more pieces, I think. So last pallet, four three pieces total. We cut up some, we sold some yesterday. So last pallet, we have 43 pieces total dropping off. We had 51 total, but we cut some up and everything else, and uh, we gave some away, so 43 for a block. We ended up with a little over 1,100 pounds total weight, the 51 Otaru and the three Mahi Mahi. And like I always say, teamwork makes the dream work. We couldn't have done it without each other's help. Everybody pulled their weight and did their share of work. An epic trip. We covered expenses. We all put a little money in our pocket. But the best part about this trip was we all got to eat really good this week. And we got to share a lot of fish with friends and family. If you guys want to see total destruction, you're not going to want to miss next week. Roy Boy is back and he does not hold back. I guess that's it. As always, guys, tight line, stay fishing. We'll see you on the water, under the water. And we'll see you next week. Aloha. What about the fish? You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hot to see. And the farmer